We are back at it again with another Nasty Gal haul. You guys love my Nasty Gal haul. I do too, so here we are. <laughs> I feel so professional when I have like a slick bun like this. And now I can finally put my hair in like somewhat of like a neat bun. Before it was just too short and it would just fly out all over the place. I feel like I'm just gonna jump straight into the video. I don't wanna like make this intro super long and boring, which I can do sometimes. But before I do jump into the video, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you can go ahead and follow my Instagram because that's when I notify you guys when I post all of my videos that was a mouthful and a half also if you happen to want to save 55% off of the Australian Nasty Girl website you can use the code Connor 55 it's not an affiliate code I don't earn commission off of that but yeah let's just jump in got a lot of things to show you I'm very excited here we go first things first are these sunglasses which are so obnoxious but I love them I've been on the hunt for like the perfect cat eye this style of sunglasses I've been looking for I have a pretty big face and like a big forehead and I find that a lot of like cat eye sunnies just look very small on my face whereas these are freaking massive as you can see they're pretty big I think they look so cool they're very like oh I'm so cool I don't know because they cover like so much of your face but they're very like classy at the same time very much like I'm off to the airport to go to New York Fashion Week vibes but not really so yeah I really really like them I'm excited to take these with me to the US and Canada I feel like they do suit my face shape you guys may think differently but I like them so secondly I have this big black satin shirt <laughs> big black satin shirt I got this in a UK size 12 or a US size 8 because my plan for it was to wear it like a shirt dress. It's probably like just a hair too short to be worn as like a dress. I could probably wear bike pants underneath it and it would be like a look. But I do like it as like a super oversized satin skirt. Satin skirt. Not quite. Satin shirt. They're very like smart but casual at the same time. I feel like you can wear it a lot of different ways. If I wanted this to be a shirt dress, I would have definitely needed to go up a size. But I love this. Super cute. I love to roll up the sleeves. And I feel very professional in it. Keeping in the theme of satin items. Got quite a few satin items in this haul actually. I picked up this pajama. Like, would we call this a nighty? Are we still using the word nighty to describe like dresses that you sleep in? Of course we are. This is a like satin shirt dress basically, but it's it's like meant to be pajamas. It's in this really pretty champagne, like pinky color. It's so cute. Very like bridal-esque. I got mine in a size small. It's quite long on me, but we all know I'm four foot 11, so everything's long on me. It's long sleeve. I just think it's adorable. It'd be so cute for like a little Instagram pic, like, ooh me, just going to sleep in my satin nighty. Feels really, really nice. It's lightweight. It has buttons that go up the top. It does have slits on the side, which is really cute. She's a bit wrinkly. I feel like I need to wash her a couple more times. I feel like sometimes like this satiny material, you gotta wash it a couple times just to not get the juices flowing. <laughs> I'm so freaking weird, man. <laughs> Next up, I have this item, which could be totally like a work dress or like a business dress. Maybe you're going to a work interview and you want to wear something nice. I kind of thought I could wear this on my trip, maybe. I'm not sure if I'll bring it or not. We'll, I'll see because I need to really not pack too much. I'm already going to bring like lots of clothes, but then my makeup weighs a ton. It's the whole thing. So this is a like knit bodycon long sleeve stripy dress. It feels so nice. It's not itchy at all. I really, really like the knit because because it's not super chunky, so it looks really nice and flattering on your figure. It's quite long on me again. This is definitely like a midi length dress. I think if I wanted to, I could definitely like cut it and make it a little bit shorter if I wanted to. I love the neckline. I think that's really, really flattering as well. Mine's in a small slash medium, and it definitely has a lot of stretch. Like I could full on like split my legs, if that makes sense. Would be a really nice winter dress, especially here in Australia. But you could totally just wear this on its own and not need a jacket in Brisbane. Okay, next up. If I feel like I always get one little black dress from Nasty Girl every time I look because they have so many. So this is a, what would I describe this as? This is a strapless bodycon, like ruched dress. It's in a satin fabric, big surprise. And it's a midi length dress. However, on the side, it has a sneaky little ruching pulley system, as I like to say. So you can pull up one side so it ruches up your leg and then tie it in a bow. And it kind of makes it look asymmetrical and looks really, really cool. So it kind of gives you a bit of both. It's like a midi dress and a mini dress at the same time, which I like because it's not going to ride up, which is my biggest pet peeve when it comes to mini dresses. Even though they look so beautiful, they do ride up a little bit. So this definitely won't do that. And I feel like because it does have that longer side to it, it looks a lot more classy. It fits me really nicely. I have mine in a UK size 
eight. And then probably my favorite thing that I got, and I'm definitely taking to the US and Canada. I'm sorry how often I mention that, but I'm just very excited. So this is like an aviator style jacket. It was listed as the, on the website as. How freaking cool is this? I am obsessed with this. So it's like a faux leather, faux fur aviator jacket. And I feel like this will be perfect. I feel like I can layer so many pieces underneath this. It's super warm because it has the faux fur on the inside. I love the gold detailing. I wear gold. I don't really wear silver. So that's perfect for me. It has the faux fur collar. It's kind of like an oversized vibe. I have mine in a size small. I think this is sick. I'm so excited to wear this. And because it's like black and kind of like a neutral brown, it's going to go with everything, which is awesome. So yeah, love this. And it feels such good quality. Like honestly, it's amazing. I love it. And it has pockets, which is very important. Next up, we have another... <laughs> I got so many satin things in this haul. Oh my gosh. So in my, was it my very first Nasty Gal haul? I think I got a satin black midi skirt because I really wanted to get one. So I picked up the same style of satin skirt just in this beautiful maroon color. I never really wear maroon or like a deep burgundy red, but I think this is so pretty. And yeah, I, it's the same style. Love how it fits. My mom hemmed my black one that's from Nasty Gal because I'm four foot 11, but I still feel like it's not even like that bad of a length I just prefer it to be a little bit shorter on me so like literally the entire population that's over like five feet tall you should be fine but this is in a UK size eight fits really really nicely it feels so nice like it's a, a nice satin fabric so yeah got that bad boy Next up, I have this little, I guess this is kind of like a turtleneck, but it's also like a mock neck as well. I'm a bit obsessed with turtlenecks at the moment, like buying them because I'm going to away soon and it's going to be cold. So I want to stock up on some. Now this is cropped. I love this. It's a little ribbed cropped turtleneck long sleeve. It's in a size eight. Probably should have sized up just because it is quite tight on me. And I have fairly like small wrists and it's pretty tight. So I probably should have gone up to a size 10, but it's very like, I don't know, makes it look very svelte. Do you know what I mean? I can definitely see myself wearing this with like high-waisted skinny jeans and like with the black sunglasses. You put those black sunglasses on with every outfit and it instantly takes you to like, I'm a CEO. <laughs> At least in my brain it does. Next is what I'm wearing. The lights are like making it look see-through, but it's this plain little black crop top. It's like a jersey material. It's like an easy basic. I really don't know much more to say about it. It's got like, I mean, they're not like, they're kind of cap sleeves. I got mine in a size eight and it's not see-through. The lights though are making it look see-through, but it's not, so. And then, cause I like to be comfy. I saw these and I was like, ooh, you're calling my name. <laughs> these are some, I guess, I mean, they're like pajama pants, but you could totally wear them as just like loungewear. I think it's advertised as loungewear. They're these like, not heathered gray, but like a speckled gray print, if you can see that. Um, and they're like wide leg trouser pants. I got mine in a UK size 10 and they're like that perfect kind of fitted but kind of loose at the same time fit on me, which I really like. They're very, very long as you can see in the try on footage, but I can easily hem those and make it fit me where well, my mum can easily hem it. Thanks, mum. Um, so yeah, they are very, very long. But at the same time, I feel like for lounge pants or like pajama pants, that's kind of a good thing. It adds to the comfort aspect of them. Or am I just a psycho? I don't know. They'd also be super comfy for the plane ride. What else? Is that it? No, the shoes. So I have two pairs of shoes to show you. They're both very similar. I love Nasty Gal shoes. I have a black pair of like plain strappy heels that I love. They're so comfortable, obsessed with them. I got a pair of white boots, which I love. I always get questions when I post photos in them about where they're from. They're from Nasty Gal, obsessed with them. So I wanted to pick up some nude heels because I don't really have that many nude heels or at least none that are like this. These are my favorite, I think, out of the two. I love the color. The color is like very similar to my skin tone when I'm tanned. And then the other ones, are very similar to my skin current skin whoa skin current I beg your pardon they're very similar to my skin tone when I'm not tan did I say that correctly yes so these are like yeah a kind of like a very tan camel-esque color they have a square toe which I, I didn't think I'd be into it but I think I am I think I really like the square toe and it's in like a patent patent leather pat <laughs> We've had this problem before. They have quite a substantial like chunky heel, but it's not like too chunky. These are in a size five because I like to size down with these types of like strappy sandals, fit great. And I love how they look. I'm probably gonna wear these to my friend's 21st on the weekend. Um, I love them, so, so cute. And then same, same, but different, you know. I got these new heels. They, these are also in like a patent leather finish. These ones are quite a bit higher than the other ones and they're quite a bit lighter. So these look very like, almost like white 
tight on my tan self but when I have no tan on these are like the perfect nude heel to wear so yeah they're fairly similar they don't have a square toe they have a thicker band across here just as cute just as comfy I don't know what it is about nasty gal shoes but they're so comfortable to wear I don't know man I don't know okay I'm just the messenger also in a size 5 or a size 36 okay my friends I think let me just like look at the pile of clothes on the floor and say, is that everything? Yes. That is it for my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. I love you guys so, so much. And I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. And I shall... Oh my god, my voice just broke. And I shall see you in my next one. <laughs>